In today's show, we're going to look at what's going on on Thursday. There are five games on, and Michael Bolton is here. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at basketballmonster.com and at Yahoo Sports Australia. And you can find me on Twitter as always at redrock underscore beeble and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Today's episode of Locked On Fantasy Basketball is brought to you by McDonald's, proudly serving communities since 1965. McDonald's has always been more than just a place to get tasty and affordable food. It's a place where friends and family from the community can come together. A big thank you to our friends at McDonald's for always being there. I'm loving it. Also, thank you to you for making Locked On Fantasy Basketball your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms, and make sure you are checking out your favorite team's Locked On show. We've got one, and it's pretty bloody good. All right, what to watch for for Thursday? Let's get into it. The first game that we're taking a look at is the Philadelphia 76ers on a back-to-back taking on the Pistons. Will Joel Embiid play? That's the question, isn't it? So we want to watch Drummond. Drummond didn't do a huge amount today, but if Embiid is out, there's a big opportunity for him. So let's see whether Joel does in fact go. And then George Niang, two monster games in a row for Georgie without Toby Harris, who's not going to play in this one. No Danny Green, who's not going to play as well. Niang provides some really good streaming value. Really, really good. Um, so let's, uh, let's see how everything goes across over there. And then for the Pistons, of course, we do want to watch Cade Cunningham who has been dreadful with the shot in the first two games. I've still been okay with how he's played otherwise. The shot looks wonky, though. I hope I hope that Dwayne Casey and his mates did not... Kids, cover your ears. I hope they didn't fuck around. I hope they didn't fultz him. Let's hope not. We want to watch that, though. We also want to watch Big Alf Stewart. Is that you, Mr. Stewart? Well, who the hell else do you think it'd be? Get in here, you pair of flaming galahs. Yes, he has struggled. We know that. Hopefully, he's able to get that turned around ASAP. But, you know, let's see what Casey does. Let's see whether Stewart can put some production up. They are some really, really key focuses, I think, uh, heading into uh, heading into this game between Philadelphia and Detroit. The next game we take a look at is the Utah Jazz. They are taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Let's watch Jordan Clarkson. J-O-R-D-A-N-C-L-A-R-K-S-O-N. He's been pretty poor to begin this year. Remember last season, he started out absolutely red hot, and then he cooled back off to being the usual Jordan Clarkson. Now he's sort of below usual Jordan Clarkson, so there will be some sort of improvement from Clarko here. I'm not super interested in him in fantasy, as you're well aware. So let's see if he's able to do anything good. And then also, Don Mitchell. He's Don. He's good. He sprained his ankle just before halftime of Tuesday's game. He returned, played the second half, took a lot of shots, scored well, and now he's popped up as questionable on the injury report. So A, let's see how he looks. Let's see if he plays. And let's see what that does for his production, which over the last week or so has been really, really good. He's improved really a, a huge amount over that uh, little time frame. While for the Hawks, a back-to-back for them. Cam Reddish is always someone I want to watch. Uh, him versus DeAndre Hunter versus Bogdan Bogdanovich. And then Johnny Collins, who he was questionable to play on Wednesday. He did play, but can we see him push over 30 minutes? Will that be a consistent thing? Or is he just going to be sort of stuck and middling with those numbers that he's putting up, which is obviously frustrating from a fantasy perspective. What isn't frustrating, because if you're looking for a place to place your bets, BetOnline is the number one spot for basketball or football. We're rolling. So if you're a new customer, go ahead to BetOnline. Look at their new redesigned website. Sign up using the promo code LOCKDOWN. You get a 50% welcome bonus deposit. Awesome. From basketball, football, the NHL, boxing, UFC, right to your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait. Take advantage of all of the great offers for the 2021 season at Bet Online. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to place all of your bets on all of your favorite sports. Bet Online is where the game starts. You need parts for your car? There's so many makes and models these days, it's virtually impossible for a local chain auto parts store to stock everything you need in their bricks and mortar establishment. So why don't you go to Rock Auto? Rock Auto is an online family business serving do-it-yourselfers for those 20 plus years. Why would you spend 30, 
50, 70, 80, 90 to 100% more on the same parts. It's ridiculous. Just go straight to Rock Auto and you can find everything that you need from brake parts, tail lamps, motor oil, or even new carpet. Rock Auto has everything you need. So go to rockauto.com and check out their vast catalog of parts for your car or truck. And in there, how did you hear about us box right locked on? So that they know that we sent you. Amazing selection, reliably low prices, all the parts your car will ever need. rockauto.com Let's go across to the next game now. Oh, as, my, uh, as I just start choking. The Boston Celtics against the Miami Heat. The Celtics uh, eventually took care of business against the Magic. And now they have a much tougher matchup against Miami. Marcus Smart, I'd like to see him get some shots that go in. That still hasn't been happening, or at least go in at above 40%, which again, still hasn't been happening. Um, It's been frustrating. But he has been must roster. So is this bloke. Al Horford has been amazing. He had another amazing game on Wednesday. It's a back-to-back. They claim they're not sitting him on back-to-backs. He did sit the last back-to-back with a groin strain. Whether that's real or whether that's bullshit, we'll find out. But if he plays in this one, then his value skyrockets. Now, again, I can keep saying he's sell high because he's not going to maintain these numbers. But you know what he's doing? He's maintaining these numbers. I don't know how. I don't know how he looks like he's six, seven years younger, but he does. He's dominating. It's really been one of the strangest things of this. And there's been a lot of strange things this season. It's been one of the strangest things that we have seen so far this season. The Rockets and the Suns. Can cousin Kevin Porter, can you hit some shots for once, please? He did have some good steal numbers last game. And the assists and rebounds were all right. But man, he just cannot shoot. From the field, from three, from the line, nothing works. I'd like to see some shots start to go in at some point. That would be very, very impressive. It'd be something. It'd be a, a bonus for sure. And then the crucifix, Christian Wood, who shot, what, 2 of 12 from the free throw line? Just absolutely pissing all over your free throw percentage. He was back up. He was back up to 70. And he's just killed that lately. Is he just dread, dreadful? From the, I don't know how you go from being a consistent 73, 4% guy to now being 50%. I don't know how that happens. But it happens to so many guys. And I don't know what triggers that change. So can Wood get anything going there? For the Suns, Jay Crowder, who was uh, pretty good last game. So we guess we know what that means today. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. But he does have infinite streaming ability. That's all. But he has streaming ability, so we watch him there. And then also DeAndre Ayton. I want to watch whether DeAndre Ayton plays. Or if he doesn't play, what they do with the Frank Kaminsky or JaVale McGee split. Because Kaminsky was amazing in that game for the Suns on Wednesday. Wednesday? Tuesday. Will he be able to maintain that? Yeah, I would doubt it. But do they go back to Frank? Do they start JaVale again? Like, how are they going to run that rotation if DeAndre does happen to be out? The next game is the last game of the day, and that is the Thunder and the Lakers. Darius Baisley, I do not believe Darius Baisley is must roster. You have heard me say this a million times. He will have the occasional solid game, and then he will do nothing for five in a row. He can be a points league streamer. I am basically convinced that he is not a good um, NBA player or good NBA prospect, but maybe he can change my mind. Well, also, we want to watch Joe Rogan, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, who has started the last two. One of those without Dort, one with Dort. Will they continue to run with him at center? Will he come off the bench? What will his role be? It's been very inconsistent so far. I'd like to see some consistency from Robinson Earl, but he is at least a deeper league watch. For the Lakers, Carmelo Anthony is continuing to shoot threes like he's going insane, like they're just crazy, crazy numbers. At some point, they will not stick, and he will not remain a 12-team league must roster guy. But with everyone hurt, you just keep rolling with him. And then I'd also like to watch the man, LeBron James. It's just a goat. No, it's a fucking goat. Um, his numbers have been pretty good this year. He still has some issues with his free throws. His steal rate is up at the moment. His assist numbers, though, are well down with Westbrook. So that's really one I want to focus in on. Can he get those assists back to sort of where they had been in the past? Because they're not sitting there at the moment. If we want to look at some stream numbers, let's look at that. For nine cat leagues, guys, we can add in Crowder, Corkmars. Baysmore, Killian Hayes, Derek Favors, Eric Gordon, Dwayne Dedman, and George Nyang. Gordon, by the way, off the injury report after sitting out last game due to nausea. So he should be ready to go. But there's a lot of interesting nine-catch streams there. For deeper formats, um, we are looking at these these guys on my list who are Baysmore and Hayes. They are rostered in under 10% of leagues. Same as Dedman, Cam Johnson, JaVale McGee, 
Corey Joseph, the Oklahoma City Mudflap Kenrich Williams, and the Italian Cock, Danilo Gallinari. They can all be deeper league streams. While if we look at points, leagues, and streaming options there, Baisley, Corkmars, Crowder, Favors, Eric Gordon, Baysmore, Killian Hayes, JaVale McGee, and Shake Milton. Before I let you go, I've got to tell you that McDonald's is the proud sponsor of today's show. They've been proudly serving communities since 1965. I hope they're proud to be sponsoring this show. McDonald's has always been more than just a place to get tasty and affordable food. It's a place where friends and family can come to reconnect. A place where you go. Yeah, you've got these memories as a kid, traveling, going there on a road trip, after sporting events, after school, friends' birthday parties. We all have those Macca's memories that are in our mind from going in and, yeah, I can't wait to get my Macca's ice cream cake. Can't wait to go grab my six-pack of nuggies. Can't wait to get, grab a couple of cheesies on the way home from school. Everyone has that memory. It is a part of your community. You all know, all know where your local Macca's is. Everyone knows that. So head to your local McDonald's to refuel and reconnect. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. And I hope you loved today's show. Just a short one today for what to watch for. We'll be back with an absolute... I don't know what the right word is. Gigantosaurus? That's a terrible word. It's going to be big. Today's recap, there are 11 games on, so we've got a shit ton to talk about. So make sure you are following this podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on the Odyssey app. But if you're here on YouTube, thumb it up, leave a comment, ring the bell, subscribe. You'll never miss it. Guys, we're done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya.